And we're back with Ixion. Uh, Ixioni? Yeah, we're just gonna go with Ixion. Now, I've been hearing good things about this game, and it's been out for probably too long, but I want to give this game a shot. And unlike previous playthroughs, I'm just gonna, like, start this thing blind and see how it goes. It should be terrible, so if you're expecting anything uh, high level, I'm afraid not. Alright, what do we got here? Let's see, see, European Spaceport in Norway? Why do you put it in Norway? That seems like kind of... We have typing clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. Stanford protocol initiated. Stanford protocol. Right, they're just going to throw lots of random words at us. Right. It does look like a cool ship. Like that's an unsafe work environment, even with those deflectors there. I, I gotta imagine the heat's gonna come through, right? Whoever made this really likes space and space flight in general. You can tell from the amount of effort they put in. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. scale of this thing across. Holy Christ! I feel like the docking bay should have numbers like, you know, number 10, 20, 50, 1000. Like, how many docking bays does this thing have? It kind of looks gigantic. That's dark. Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. Munchie decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, Please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and would like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed well, on board the Tycoon. Wonderful. Tutorial view. Yeah, let me have a look through the basics. Having a look through the menus here, we don't have access to research. We can do internal construction, but there's no research on this. We probably have to do buildings for that. We do have population management, so that seems like a pretty standard mechanic. Then we get over here fleet management. So I'm presuming mining ships and cargo ships. I don't know if there's trade present, but this game came highly recommended by a friend of mine. So let's see. We've also got this space view, so I assume we'll be traveling across places. And I do like that they've got the sort of the gravity you can see below the sun. Well, we'll find out how that goes. Inside here is probably where we're going to spend most of our time, and I'm beginning to have a strange feeling this is going to be about a lot of production. Um, this with the Munchie Protocol, I have been designed to okay. take into consideration your complete psychological oh, profile, I don't think so, so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. Excellent, get on with My it then. My primary purpose is to... I will keep track of... Yep, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. Next transmission. 
I wanted to introduce you to yeah, our first task personally. Okie so, dokie. Now, the first objective. In order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no okay. big deal. There's the production, stockpiling, and distribution uh, of resources. I think I'll cut out this boring bit. Balancing. Well, so this guy sounds like, uh, you know, an evil villain in the making. No human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity come knocking to me. Said everyone just before they started harvesting human organs. All right. Uh, we need to build a workshop. Oh, God. Right then. Sector 6 is inactive. Sector 1 is active to build the train station. You okay. Let's go build a workshop, shall we? I figure it can't be that hard. Internal construction. Workshop. Yay. You get one for free. Right. We're probably going to want to place that somewhere close to a door. Nope. How do we rotate this sucker? Well, or to rotate. Pretty standard for a lot of games. Excellent. All right. Build a stockpile. Okay. Sounds pretty standard issue as well. Ooh, ooh it's and everything. Stockpile small. Stores up to 100 of a single resource. You go right there. And then we just hit play. I presume that will... Are they instantaneous, or does it take time for them to actually be constructed? Hmm. Trying to see if they've got any good animations going on. Alright, you build those, and then we'll see what the next thing is. So, it turns out storage depots, you basically have to tell them what they should store. Then click the ally icon above a supply to collect the resource. Oh. Right, and then you can see people come along and grab those. Uh, yeah, you can actually see the allies getting stored up. Okay, fine. Not connected to a stockpile, assigned. We're going to have to build roads, aren't we? Collect 40 alloys. Easy peasy. Administrator, uh, I have established a connection with Dolus' lead data. Yeah, that's great. Next transmission. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. My name yeah. is Emma Klein, Dolos' lead data. My department yeah. have just completed the DLS, or data listening system. Yeah, will whatever. also provide you with a condensed, as is often the case with tools produced by my department. I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to okay. do without it. Oh, Great. and before I let you go ahead, remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. Yeah. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only right. people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Right, I got it. We're an evil company. I work for an evil company. Standard a issue. request awaits your attention. Excellent. Uh, communal dining at the workshop in Sector 1. You know what, I'd kind of like to connect these places together if at all possible. I don't like the idea of them being so, well, disconnected. There we go. How's that? And... Perfect. And maybe put those along that way. Just, I feel like all of these places need to be connected, otherwise it just feels wrong. They haven't told me to do it yet, but I'm not waiting. Alright, communal dining. Seriously? Docking bay, factories, population, infirmary, crew quarters. From what I can determine, this is an event. I think this is a bit like Frostpunk in a way. Oh, wait, the game probably has to be playing for us to actually handle the event. Well, here's the event. Um, the crew are currently unable to access food supplies. Uh, protocols are construction of a mess hall. This building is designed to distribute fuel from our stockpiles to the crew. Guarantee access, guaranteeing access to food supplies would reaffirm your con competency as an administrator. Well, yeah, we we got to keep feeding people, otherwise there's no one to do any work. Okay, communal dining hall. How do we construct one of those? Should be under food. Grand mess hall. I have a strange feeling I'm going to end up moving half of this junk at some point or another. Okay, tutorial for the mess hall. In order to feed a population, you need to have a mess hall in your sector. Mess halls do not create food, but serve it in a set amount to the crew of crew every five cycles. Oh, so you need to build more of them the more crew you have. Stockpiles will transfer food to mess hall to be served to crew. Food has to be stored in stockpiles like all other resources. Right, why do I feel like we're going to need more resource pools? And what is this? Stockpile. I'm not seeing any food stockpiles just yet. In fact, we don't have any food at all. Now, you can see the little trucks here. I presume they're coming from the stockpile area. They dump the supplies off at this location, and then the location is actually constructed. Uh, speed along, please. Done. Oh, then construction begins. Right, build a mess hole. Build a second stockpile. 
Fine, no problems there. Done. Since it's right beside our first stockpile, that should make it pretty easy. Then I'm gonna assume they want us to store food in this stockpile, which is a bit weird because I'm not seeing any food around the area. Oh, yeah, I'm betting this is going to be to build something that produces food. Right, so that's stockpile to store food. Easy peasy. I have an incoming transmission from Mar From Marduk? What is this, Dune? Alright. administrator. Wow. A wonderful day to it's like you find all the war criminals and decided to make them all I'm work in the same co Bachelier. company. Writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most I have yep. to consult. Even so, there are yeah, small yeah, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Please blah. assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Right. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Wow. Self similar space will reveal. You're weird and creepy. We'll probably be seeing a lot more of you. All right, click on the food icon above the supply to collect its resources. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. We'll grab you. Done. Problem solved. Unless there's more food around here somewhere that I'm not seeing. I presume these supplies are going to run out at some point. Okay, feed 100 crew with the mess hall. Construct a cargo ship in the docking bay. So I'm presuming you're the docking bay? Yeah, give me a cargo ship. You are cargo ship. Easy peasy. we got mining and science as well. Okay, construct a science ship in the docking bay. Well... I thought I already looked it up. The Whale and Einstein. You know what? I'm not even going to bother changing those names. They sound absolutely perfect. Eh, hey, we'll just skip forward till those are done. Oh, wait a minute. I've just realized something. This thing looks like it needs cogs. We don't appear to have built a cog storage facility. Right, okay, fine, fine. We're going to need... Stockpile. You. Eh, rotate round. We'll put you right there. That's grand. Once that's finished, we'll set that to store those cog thingies. Do we have any cogs? Actually, ah, there we go. We got like 50 cogs over here somewhere. So we'll grab those up and we'll stick them into storage. And that should allow us to build the ships. The animations on these are actually pretty good. Construct a science ship. Construct. Uh, order the cargo ship to retrieve food via the fleet management window. Okay. So, cargo ship. On a sign. Dismantle. Food? High priority. Yeah, is is that it? Actually, it was that simple. Okay, I like it. Next up, feed 100 crew with the mess hall. They're doing their job, though it's going to take a while for them to feed everyone. Construct a science ship that's currently ongoing. Done, done, and done. We're still waiting on 100 crew to get fed, but we can't force people to eat any faster. Unless, I don't know, we make them throw up or something. Resolve the moon event on the planetary system map. Grand moon event. Summary. Of our intelligence on the abandoned base. There's a base. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and could be used to restore power. Waiting for a science ship. Okay, so we send a science ship. That seems pretty handy. Uh, Einstein. Uh, off you go. That will take a little bit of time. Uh, a science um, ship has arrived at its destination. Perfect. Okay. Is abandoned and depressurized. Their surveillance systems is still operating. Exploit the security vulnerability. What the hell? Uh, and retrieve any confidential data. The Einstein team will dismantle the base and prepare useful resources for extraction. I mean, information or resources? Uh, information is power right now. I'm going to go with information, to be honest. A science ship team has completed a task. All right, what did we get out of this? Oh, we got 10 science. Okay, never mind. It was actually science. We had a choice between science and resources. Okay. End listing protocols. Thank you kindly. Right, now we can dismantle the base. Oh, wait, we could do both? What? I had to wish we had known that at the start. I wouldn't have... Whoa. You know what? Let's just go back inside before I press something I shouldn't have out there. No, I am noticing that the science will be collected after the event's completion, so if we mess this up or something goes horrifically wrong, we probably lose the science. And the ship. I'm sure there's some, uh, percentage chances of things going right or wrong, depending on the event, and we have no idea of those percentages. A I don't like them up. ship team has completed a task. Well, that is good to know. What task did you complete? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we got resources. Grand. So, done. And Einstein. Do you want to come home? 
Einstein is on the way back. We are to collect science on the moon, uh, build the tech lab. Right, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Tech lab, using science to research and unlock new buildings and upgrow. Whoa. Right. I think there should be fine. Why do I feel like I'm going to regret the placement of buildings later on? I won't really know where's the best place to place them until after I've gotten further into the game, and then I'm going to regret it. I'm sure I can dismantle them, but it's going to cost resources. Well, well, our science machiny things are doing their science. I actually built a second science ship because, well, why not? I was bored. Uh, we've got a talk from their science guy. What's the odds they sound like Greetings a war criminal? I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Tolo's yeah. expert in compartmentalism and medicine. And Less war crimey than Council. I thought, to be honest. I'm glad to find my friend and colleague, Philip Stan. Before we get into yeah. that, however, we would like you to complete the test. You'll then be able to begin researching the... I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before... Yeah... Before I leave you, Stanford would like to remind you that your space is fireless, fanciful, and forgiving environment in science fiction, but I always believe it would be wise to remember that. Rightio, you're actually the least war crimey of the lot so far. Uh, research EVA airlock technology. Okay. Research it is. Uh, EVA airlock tech. Perfect. Research. That's a good wind-up sand. That will take 2.5 cycles and 30 research, of which we have 99. Perfect. And they'll take a minute. Well, that's going on. Let's have a quick check. How are our ships doing? Wow, I think you've actually processed all the research there. Uh, anything left? They do have 30 resources we could probably harvest. In fact, I might get around to doing that. You two can uh, go back home, I suppose. I mean, if the place is strip mined, do we really need to go back out there? Well, this is kind of huge. Uh, I'm kind of limited in where I could build it. I had to actually delete some stuff over here just to fit this in. Uh, put that right there. I suppose one tile away still leaves a road around. Right. Uh, in that case, we're probably going to need to put in some roads to it as well, I imagine. Yeah, come here. There we go. Now you just got to build the whole thing, people. And considering our stockpiles are over here, that's going to be a bit of a long journey. Uh, let's maybe shorten that journey slightly. Don't worry, these roads will get ripped up at some point or another, I am sure. Well, now that we've got this thing built, uh, finish implementing the Vorheel engine via the build panel. Okay, that can wait. What is this? Administrator, reports are being received related to... Barge... What? Optimization protocols. This indicate that crew members are being overworked. Huh. Although Dolos employment contracts make it clear that we don't care, I mean that a high degree of flexibility is required, the situation is beginning to take its toll on morale. It would be pragmatic to deploy additional crew members or reduce the number of concurrently active workplaces. Uh, request additional staff, work a few more hours when the future of his many humanity is at stake is hardly a sacrifice. We push on. Uh, I'm just going to request additional staff. Right, bring new workers from... You should be on board. Grant, we now have 20 more people. How's everyone looking? Pretty happy? Great. Uh, bring the new workers on board. How do we do that? Yeah, it turns out it was actually pretty easy. All we did is go in here and change what the whale was assigned to. We basically set it to people and food. And it brought us all the workers back as far as I can tell. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, we now have more people on board. Uh, that means we need more fuel, fuel, ah, food though, doesn't it? Alright, okay, finish implementing the Vortiel engine via the build panel in the external view. Well, great. Let's try and figure this out. Well, this looks fairly straightforward. We click a button. Yes, thank you. It's gonna take a hundred resources. That seems rather expensive. And do we get a, like, a little graphic somewhere that shows us it being constructed? Anyone? Ah, uh, there we go. It's actually coming on at the back. Oh, it's a pity we can't rotate around and see it. Wait a minute. There we go. Delta Loa. Nice. All right. Incoming transmission. Let's go back inside to take the call. Because of your continued successful management of the typhoon, successful please management. ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima. 
Right, so what you're saying is we need to build them uh, some accommodations. Here we go, crew quarters. Yeah, like, that seems like something we should have put up much earlier, but what can I say? Uh, let's see. So, basically, this ship keeps popping back and forth and bringing us loads of goodies. Uh, it's bringing them all from the Yushi... Whatever, this thing here has 80 people on board. Where are we getting our food from? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Can't find any place around here that provides food. The moon does provide some resources. We can probably grab those. In fact, I'm kind of willing to sacrifice a science ship right about now, uh, just so we can have a second cargo one. Mm. You know what? I'm going to worry about that in a bit. What we're going to do here, though, is we're going to change this to also bring those resources that are available. Why not? We have strip mined everything out here. There is nothing left. So, in that case, let's take this transmission. Sure thing, how? Yeah. Before you go, before you do so, yeah, yeah, the founder wants to talk to you. Wow. Okay, what's what's the bets? This one person is a younger war crimey type of person. You always want them to be young Hello, and psychotic. I'm oh glad God! To see that you have managed to complete your assignments yep. and preparation for this unique moment in history. Oh yeah, you just said you pure evil. We've endured endless cycles of war, oh, crisis, guys. and famine. Yeah. Still, the worst is yet to come. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. There it's are whatever you're about like to do. Dolos. This pale ghost of civilization will wither through Dolos. I am offering the pale ghost of civilization will wither and die. Of survival. The tycoon is a tablet yeah. upon which we will carve our new history. Do Seriously, you just. Yeah, no, we don't care. Like, you're basically pure evil. I could, it just, yep, yep, we were gonna just, uh, done with that. Uh, move the Tycoon to the orbit of the moon. Very well, then. Okay, you. We're gonna grab the entire ship, and we're gonna go, go to the moon. All power for the mail grid, grid will, main grid will be diverted to the EKP systems during the 0 0.7 cycle. Sectors will be powered by batteries during this time. Sweet. Okay, what's it like on the inside? Yeah, low lighting conditions. Okay, what are you? Building not connected to an active stockpile assigned to alloys. Done. Okay. I think we're done. Initiate Vorheel jump via the button in the planetary system map. Well, no. Is there anything here worth stealing first? Steal first, jump later. Oh, never mind. Okay. Ready for activation. Okay, all power from the main grid will be averted. 0 0.5 charging cycles. Grand, grand, grand. In accordance with Prof. Stanford procedures, that all ships fancy. must return to the tycoon before volt jump initiation. Pretty sure they're all on board, buddy. But uh, thanks for thanks for the heads up. All right, we got a charge for 0.5 of a day, and then let's do this. And. Ship. Full engine ready. Okay, what's this, like, wormhole stuff? That seems like a lot of moving parts. Oh, going full Stargate on us. Yeah, it's definitely full Stargate. That is a pretty cool effect. Holy Christ! Uh. How do you tell if it was successful or not? Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. I'm an amoral, beyond great intelligent psychopath. Beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. 
we have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine. kind of expecting it to turn out, you know, to be evil. Always those, like, young, super intelligent, you know, cold calculating CEOs. Yep, they're always evil in the end. It happens every time. It's pretty much a stereotype. Alright guys, you've just destroyed humanity, or ensured humanity's destruction. Uh, let's see how you handle it. Full jump complete. Well, yep, that seems... Running preliminary diagnostics. Several anomalies detected. Really? You think there's a Multiple couple of anomalies? digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Digital full security. engine critically damaged. That's a problem. Hull integrity compromised. Also Analysis a problem. confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar... We are receiving no communication signals from Earth. Mm. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Well, that sounds not good. Activating Marduk survival protocols. So we start eating New each other? New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Right. Urgent issues requiring immediate increased food production output. From zero, Restore that's a really good thing. Restore integrity. Right. Is that it? Well then, let's just... trust in your leadership is falling. Well, probably because, you know... Administrator, we just destroyed the world. A new request awaits your attention. Ah, <sighs> right. Okay, where's our new request? Commit to sending an expedition to Earth? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do that. Eh, why not? What's this one? You may have noticed that the moon has broken apart. The crew are aware of this, and many rumors are spreading through the station that we'll have to make... We will have to make an official statement. Uh... Okay, something must have happened during the test job. Being such a high-profile event, it was the perfect opportunity for them to strike and sabotage our plans. It's our fault. Okay, it was humanity's fate. No, I think we'll just go with we have many enemies. Right. So, where were we? Oh yes, trying not to die. Now, we can't build our own food, but we can research insect farms. So, we can raise insects, converting them to food after one cycle. Doesn't sound too tasty. In fact, it sounds an awful lot like Snowpiercer, but, uh... Looks like that's the way we're going. Because we don't really have any other options. I do like the chunky noises they've got in this game. Alright, what else have we got to do? So that's food. Uh, research probe. Research the probe launcher. Okay, we'll get around to that in a bit. Resolve the Earth event Earth? Okay. 
Uh, Ghosts of Ushibi on the planetary system map. Okay, we are here. There's Earth waiting for a science ship. Waiting for a science ship. Uh, in that case, let's dispatch one. Einstein, pop over there if you wouldn't mind. Medusa, uh, pop over there if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, let's get our stuff started. We might as well start doing our exploration. I presume we're going to find resources or things that will destroy our science ships and eat away at our resource cons... Con uh, down here under the research section. A oh, science ship a... has arrived at its destination. Well, that's good to know. What do we got? No signals have been received from Earth. The oceans seem to have evaporated. Uh, wait, what? The Earth? Well, that seems like a, a very hot planet. Uh, surface temperature has risen significantly. You don't say. Since the tycoon is lost, atmospheric readings indicate the presence of strong dust storms and dangerously high levels of carbon dioxide, radiation, and microplastics. The blue planet will never again deserve its name. Well, that's uh, good to know. Investigate Delos headquarters. Investigate personal locations. Uh, scour the globe in search of survivors. Hmm. Inner Heaven was the name of our headquarters? It's just no, they're evil. Okay, you can search the inner headquarters. Or the inner heaven headquarters. Jesus. What kind of ships are these that they can move that fast? Like, this is one day. Uh, this guy went all the way over here, which a I gotta imagine that's has pretty de pretty large distance. Okay. Broken in two and not transmitting any signals. Uh, right, whoever helps the Delos is an enemy of mankind. That's not good. I have a strange feeling people don't like us, and I have a strange feeling there's been a time jump. Uh, summary of the intelligence. Uh, the phrase, whoever helps tell us is the enemy humanity has been... Oh, not mankind, sorry, humanity. No, that says mankind. I mean, uh, whatever. Uh, mummified bodies have been attached to the hull. Jesus Christ! Okay, they went full Reaper. Uh, we will gather those resources then, and hopefully our research completes soon so we can start eating bugs. A science ship team has completed a task. Eh, what task has been completed? Excellent. So, the converted oil rig which Delos uses as a state-of-the-art headquarters is gone. Only a few metal scraps remain scattered across the expanse of dusty cracked earth. There is no sign of survivors. Right, ready for extraction, science, and resources. Okay. Um, should we bring those back immediately? Hmm. You know what? Investigate. Scour the globe in search of survivors. Investigate personal location or family home. I don't really care about the family of whoever my character is because I don't know who they are, so, um, no, we, we don't care. A science ship team has completed Perfect. a task. Ship was full of food. I hope their expiration date hasn't passed. Everything is ready for extraction. Right. Um. Perfect. So that means the other ship should take care of that, should it not? Our science ships don't extract food, but I believe this guy here will extract food, will extract natural resources, and do all of that stuff. So are you gonna, gonna pop off? Yeah, I do believe they are. We might need more storage though for all this stuff. Uh, like I'm looking out here and there is 42 food, so we might want to increase supply. There's also 195 of this uh, ally to collect. We definitely need more storage. While we're waiting, I'm going to have the science ship come back and check out Earth. I wonder if we can have two science ships scanning the place at the same time. Ah. Great. Okay, so we need more electricity. External solar panels. Okay then, so this is the next stage. Out here, construction. I vaguely remember something along the line. Solar panel set one. Requires small solar panel. Okay. I haven't really been paying attention to this, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna need that built. Uh, where is our power listing? Ah, up here. Okay, right, so 63 of 60. Perfect, solar panel goes up. That takes care of that problem. Second science ship is able to process the science while the first ship is still busy doing its scanning. That is actually useful to know. Uh, when it comes to the actual production of that solar panel, can we turn off power to some buildings, I wonder? Because if that was possible, we could maybe save ourselves a bit of effort. All right, one thing to realize. There's actually this little thing in here. You can turn off power, power to a building. So we're gonna turn off all of those. That way we actually get enough power so that we can use this building. With enough power to run that building, 
that allows us to actually finish the solar panels. Otherwise, the solar panels wouldn't complete. All right, so there's a little bit of power management, but basically you can turn buildings off on the whim. You can just flick them on and off. Pole repair deactivated. Yeah, well, we'll get around to that in a bit. All right, so we got solar panels building. We've got our people doing their scanning job. We got another one doing the mission to actually process the research, and we got another one going, and we got our cargo ship going over here to a grab all the resources. Ship team has completed a task. Well, that is good to know. Uh, nothing but rubble. No sign of life, not even corpses. Right. Okay. The Earth has become a toxic and arid wasteland. The only remnant of civilization to be found was a fallen steely, where the city of Washington once stood. Stuck in a crass, crevasse, it had been sheltered from the wind. A prayer imploring divine forgiveness was engraved in gold on its surface. Okay. Things got, uh... I think Scott, what you call it? Perfect. We'll do some personal investigation there. Uh, right. I should probably go in and do those tutorials at some point. Not now, but at some point. Yep, yeah, we got another one of those little event thingies. Pledge to restore trust. The crew will come round. Uh, trust fell below 33%. Crew members who support your directives and therefore by extension those are de Delos are in a minority. According to behavioral pro pro predictions, if your trust continues to fall, the crew will most likely seek to harm your physical integrity. <laughs> oh yeah, great. As for your symbolic integrity, the crew has already identified many nicknames for you. Ah, excellent, excellent. Uh, pledge to restore trust to 50% within 30 cycles. Right. How do we do that again? Okay, we're retrieving food, feed a thousand crew members, research the probe launcher. That's next up after we get food down. Uh, how do we get everyone to trust us more? I think the problem is homelessness. From homelessness being over 75% in the sector. Should have built a whole bunch more of this housing. We can't build the house. The housing takes one power though, so we'll need to wait until the solar panels are done. Once they're done, that gives us the power that we can uh, unpause these. Uh, power these up. We're going to throw down a quick bug farm here. I'm not sure how many of them we're going to need. I'll have to work out the numbers on that later. But that should at least get it started there. Then we're going to have to, population-wise, make sure we get enough crew quarters. Fifteen crew for each one? What the... Like, we already have three here, right? So even if we put... De like, that's 15, 30, 45. We're going to need a ton of these. That's going to require an awful lot of materials. Uh, give me a minute. i got to plan out how to cram in just godlike amounts of housing in here. Well, that should start to help and hopefully help with the negativity we're getting from all of that homelessness. Really should have taken care of that before we did that jump drive thingy. Alright, feed a thousand crew members. Okay, we're working on research the launch probe. Okay, probe. We're gonna research you as well. That's gonna take a bit of time, but we've got plenty of research coming in. Uh, back out here, we're researching our place, and at the same time, we're still collecting all the resources here. Oh, well, they got polymer. We need that for building ships, so that's actually really good for us. Hmm, I wonder if we could make a second dock. That might be handy for harvesting resources faster, though. I think sustainability is our big issue. We're limited to what we can find from outside, and that's a, a big problem. Has completed a task. Hey, they went back to my personal location, and... Oh, we found some... Yeah. No trace of civilization, but we did get whatever those processor-looking things are. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Well, that's just... Excellent. What's all of this stuff? Never mind. Let's go see what this request is all about. Oh, come on. More events. Um, they're being discussed amongst the crew. Left behind in the, the symptoms of the trauma have now been collected, correlated under the medical diagnosis dead earth sickness. Stability penalty minus one permanent. Well, that's... Is that guy drawing in poop? Actually, you know what? Don't want to know. Don't want to know. Right, everyone's angry. Well... Yeah, Earth's dead. Sorry. Oh, it's not my fault. <laughs> okay, oh yeah. We should build more housing, like just oodles of housing to keep everyone happy because, you know, they're not. So building the housing is definitely driving down. Okay, we're now at neutral. Jesus. Okay, we finally got to neutral, which is... Okay, uh, we should really drive this up, though, a lot higher. If I had this all over to do again, I definitely would have built the housing earlier. Uh, we can definitely drive down the housing problem some more, and if you look under population management, it actually tells us we have 105 housing capacity and 205 population. 
We need to get that up more, though. We need to hit about 50% trust by the end of a certain time. Uh, we have 25.8 days, so we're going to have to keep working on that. What is this? Event available. Find and collect 500 cryogenic pods. Right. Okay, a new home. Wait, 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 wait. If we can find 500 cryogenic pods, what's the chance we're going to have to actually defrost those people and then we're going to have to feed them? Oh, worker or non-worker. Cryogenic centers have no controls over this and by default will open pods in an order influenced by how many total workers and non-worker cryopods are in storage. Ah. Uh, right, perfect. Well, we're going to have to do some population limit controls in a bit. Oh, okay, let me finish off at least the housing. So one thing I've been noticing is our food is still going down. I was trying to figure out exactly how much food we need to consume, but it seems we are... 20 units of food are consumed per meal, 1 unit of food are produced per cycle. Current average production covers 25% of meal requirements. So we need 3 more food production units just to catch back up. Uh, insect farm. Yeah. You. We're gonna put you there. And there. You need to be a high priority. So, yeah, if we don't get food, we're probably going to starve to death, so I probably should prioritize that a little bit. Alright, with this fourth one up, we should eventually hit production. I'm probably going to want another one just to be sure, but I want to finish over here and grab these resources. We're sort of flying through our resources rather quickly for some strange reason. God knows why. Well, for some reason, our hull seems to continuously be degrading. I think we have to repair it. I'm not sure we have a choice in that. Uh... Active hull repair deactivated? No. Hull repair Administrator, activated. A new request awaits your attention. Uh, yeah, hull repairs disabled? What? No! I said... Activate it. I want you to actually repair the hull. Otherwise, you know, things will go badly, badly, badly wrong. It's probably going to eat into our resources, but uh, I don't think we have a choice on that front. Next up, we also have this event available. Uh, pledge to restore hull to 75% within 30 cycles. Yeah, sure. Uh, because we do need to repair that or we're in trouble. It's 44. Exit. Plus 18 balance per cycle. Oh yeah, but this takes... Like, do we just have to keep actively dumping resources into this consistently forever and ever? Is that, like, one of the game mechanics? Because that could be expensive. Like, incredibly expensive. We're gonna chuck in one more insect farm, though. Uh, namely because we're one place behind where I'd like to be. Population-wise, we're good. We've got enough housing. We've got enough population. We've got enough food. And resource-wise, uh, I might want to put down another storage area or two. But first up, we need to put down... Where is it? Ah, the probe thing. Build a probe launcher. This one looks like another biggie. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of these areas over here first. So... Someone want to get those and put them in storage? Oh, we need more storage again, don't we? God damn it! We have finally strip mined out all of this. Like, all of the random resource piles that were lying about the place. Probably should have done that a while ago. That frees us up a whole bunch of space. Because we do have a few things we would like to build in here. Or at least one. Wow. Looking at this, it seems to strap on to the outside. So there? It seems like a reasonable place to put it, though I think it's blocking one of the doors. Though, uh, we've probably got doors other sides. I'm sure this will not come back to bite us in the ass at any point in the future. There we go. Now the thing is, when it comes to the construction, there's only one construction bot because we only have one workshop. I'm kind of okay with that for now, but because we're trying to save resources. Uh, we also had to chuck on an extra solar panel, so we had more power, but I think we're finally managing to catch up with storing everything. Oh my god, that's going to take 90 uh, alloy. How much have we got left stuck out on the world map? Well, we have strip mined earth. We have strip mined the... your shiny... whatever. And now we're probably going to have to do the next parts. Uh... Which is, well, okay, these ones are optional. We had to restore crew's trust by 50%, which I think we might do, assuming nothing horrific goes wrong. Uh, to restore hull integrity, which we're actually doing right now. I'm not sure how much resources that's going to cost us. Uh, find and collect 500 cryopods. Okay, we'll get on that. Research the battery technology, build two batteries. Okay, battery technology, we can do that. Uh, research, done. Ooh, steel mills. Transforms 15 iron into 15 alloy. I don't... Um, have we encountered iron? 5 carbon into 5 polymer. Okay, and 30 silicon into 1 electronics. 
so we can convert the stuff. Eh, good to know, good to know. But that does not uh, help us with these things just yet. Build a probe launcher, that is on the way, and feed a thousand crew members. We are actually up to 776 already. Uh, food is running a little bit low, but we've gone above capacity. We've now got 125% of meal requirements, so we're a little bit covered for now. Probe launcher complete. Uh, let's build a probe. Right. Hopefully that... Uh, actually, what's power at? 120 of 140. I've got to keep an eye on power, otherwise I'm going to redline this grid for, like, the third time if I'm not careful. All right, build us a probe, please. Once battery research is complete, we have to chuck down a couple, and I'm going to very inefficiently chuck them in here. Space requirements seem to be, uh, to be a premium, to be honest. All right, once those two are done, we have to find an asteroid with iron deposits, which I presume we need the probe to do. Uh, auto build, activate, construct probes to explore planetary systems for resources and anomalies. Hmm. Radio, so. Where are we supposed to send you? It took me a minute to figure out this probe system. You basically select the probe to launch, and it gives you an estimate of what you're going to find if you launch it to an area. So right here we can see we're going to get a lot of FE, which I presume is iron, unless my memory of the periodic table is off, which it could definitely be. Resource estimate high. Yes. All right, probe, off you go. Uh, does it actually do anything? And yeah, there we go. Perfect, the probe goes off. I presume that's... A disposable probe? Go on, buddy. You can do this. Yeah, we're currently repairing our hull. It's up to 592. We need to get it to 675 to satisfy some of the people on board. I'm okay with that. Are you there? Oh, and we finally got our trust above 50%. 62%. Ooh, nice. A probe has completed its scan. Perfect. Does that mean we should move there? That has 69 ice. Okay, this place has 519 iron. We're probably going to want to mine that and turn it into allies. 57. In that case, I say we move. Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure we can't repair the hull when we're moving. We might want to finish this first, otherwise people might get unhappy with us. So we might just want to stay here for a little bit and spend more resources, which... Ugh, I don't like that, actually. That means we might run out... I think we take the risk and move now. So, let's, uh, burn bright, shall we? Actually, wait a minute. Do we need to move? I'm not sure we do. And what we can do is just send out the shuttle, right? We need to build a mining ship. Great. So, we need a mining ship to go bring that stuff back, so in that case we shall dismantle the Medusa. And instead we will construct a mining ship. Resource extraction. Perfect. Right, once the mining is ship is completed, that can go ahead and start harvesting the ore for us, which is what gives us... Ah, okay, so that gets the ore, the ore we smelt up to turn into um, alloy, and that allows us to keep repairing the hull. Yeah, the moment we built that mining ship, I'm pretty sure it went on its way to do its tasks. And in fact, let's just double check on the map. Uh, where are you, mining ship? Eh, uh, mining ship, we want you to get... Go off and grab that iron ore. Off you go, buddy. Perfect. Then, while that's off, mining the ore we want, we're going to probably want to put in a stockpile to store all that ore in. Can we store ore? Silicone. Nope, hydrogen. Ah, there we go. Iron, you can be set to store it. Excellent. That means we're going to need a smelter, though. So, that uh, we need to research. Steel mill. Transforms 15 iron into 15 alloy every one cycle. Easy peasy. How much power is that going to take, though? Do I need to build more solar panels right now? Right, steel mill has been researched. Now, how big are you? Why do I feel like you're going to be stupidly oversized? Yep, yep, kind of expected that. Oh, great. Well, oh, looks like we're gonna have to demolish some stuff, eh? Okay, we've moved way too much stuff around, and now we've got the steel mill going up. Once the steel mill is up, I'm just I'm curious how much construction work or workers we'll have available. You know what? We'll find out when it's done. This takes 30 workers, I suppose, so yeah, we'll still be just about covered. But after that, we're gonna need more people desperately. Also, the moment we stopped repairing the hull, hull integrity is just like minus 28 per cycle. 
That's ridiculous. All repair costs a fortune. All right, uh, our construction robot is on that. Like, that one robot is building that whole building. Don't ask me how, but it's doing it. Uh, Iron-wise, we've got 90 of this stuff already in stockpile, and we're probably going to have more that we're not going to be able to store shortly. We might have to put down more storage again. All right, there we go. So, that's going to turn 15 iron into 15 alloys, which means I'm going to go back out here and turn back on repairs. Uh. Administrator, we are picking up a Dolos huh. emergency, emergency frequency, frequency. broadcast. Dolos protocol. Outer Hope Station is likely to have both the materials and expertise. Right, so, uh, in event of a major systems failure, administrators must contact the nearest Dolos site. It's Required supposed to have the to materials and expertise we require. Hmm. Okay. That is excellent. Well, let's find out what that place looks like. Where are you? Uh, I don't see it on the map. Oh, wait. That's actually our cargo thing. The miner goes out and mines the materials. Once it mines the materials, it goes from resources to mine to resources to collect. And once it's in the collect section, our little ship can go out and bring it back. Um, yeah, but we're kind of limited in how quickly we can bring it back, depending on our distance from where it is. All right, we have built ourselves another probe. In fact, I'm just going to put it on auto-build probes. I think that's going to be necessary. Uh, you. Launch probe available. Now, where is this thing we are looking for? So, after playing around a lot with the probe, uh, we found this location over here, which seems to be full of science and what looks like exclamation marks, which is object relevant point of interest. So, I think. Oh, damn it, I lost it again. There's something over here we're supposed to be investigating. Let me just. There you go. Perfect. All right, probe, go scout that. Hopefully, that's what we're looking for. Uh, in the meantime, our people are mining iron, storing it here, and turning it into alloy. And we're frantically trying to repair hull integrity. Yeah, it goes down way faster than it goes up. I mean, it goes down incredibly fast, actually. Uh, how are you guys doing out here? Okay, probe. Those probes are single-use only. Once you fire them, you're done with them. Perfect. Outer hope. Uh... A Dulles emergency signal is broadcasting from these coordinates. It originates from the research station Outer Hope. Um, waiting for a science ship. Well, in that case, wait no longer. Einstein's on the way. Yeah, that was a bit unintuitive, though. I was basically just sweeping around. I checked the whole asteroid belt first and all sorts of random locations until I eventually ended up stumbling out there. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just you kind of have to do this thing where you're going around and you're like, oh, okay, is it over in this area? And you're trying to look for anything that causes this thing to spike up. It was a definitely an odd mechanic, but we'll see how it plays out in the future. Now, before this probe arrives, we are encountering a bit of a problem. Workers. We're sort of maxed out. 198 of 194. We can't build anything else. We're going to have to start disabling buildings to have a chance of continuing. Um, but the hope is this place contains cryopods, uh, though we won't be able to build the cryopod center to defrost them because we won't have enough staff. But we'll, we'll figure something out. We can disable buildings like, you know, non-essential stuff like hospitals or food. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Excellent. Okay. Past battle. Right, search the battlefield. Search outer hope. Hmm. Do we want to understand or... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just start searching. We're going to do both in the end anyway. Well, that was reasonably quick. Okay, event. A science ship team has what have we got? A task. Battle seems to be made up of multiple engagements, with debris from conflicts mostly consisting of wrecked shuttles. Hmm. Sophisticated weapon systems were also identified among the wreckage bearing the acronym BMS. Hmm. Right, okay, so... We got 20 science, great. Let's search at our hope anyway. While all that's going on, I seem to have found a point of interest over here. I'm gonna go investigate it with a probe, namely because it's got people. If you check under probes, you can see this section here contains the people symbol. I'm hopeful there's people. We need more workers to work in our very, very nice ship and save them from the horrors of whatever's going on out here. Okay, point of interest. Be fun. You are a point of interest. Delos, enemy of mankind. Ah. Stanford facility. Right, we gotta send over a science vessel there when the time comes. Currently our science vessel is all the way in outer hope, but 2.7 days from now and a little bit of science transport later and I'm sure it can pop right back. 
Which reminds me, we should probably do some science while we're waiting. I have been kind of holding off on that because I'm worried that we might need some of it, but... Cryonic Center sounds very important for us, so we're going to start the research on that immediately. Now, if you guys over there could find us some cryopods and maybe some people who'd like to join us, that would be real nice. We're, we're running short on uh, workers over a here. A science ship team has completed a task. Oh, 25 people. Excellent. Many embalmed bodies. A new request awaits your attention. Excellent, but we have found some embalmed bodies. Wow, okay. Emergency broadcasts. Uncovered station mainframe. They're able to access and extract Outer Hope's black spot. Its data can be analyzed using our tech lab. Okay. Uh, resume data listing protocol. Okay, dismantle Outer Hope. Oof. Dismantle Outer Hope. In order to scavenge as many resources as possible. I think we'll just leave it for now. We can dismantle it later, I think. I mean, there is resources there, right? Yeah, there's 44 science. We'll let Einstein sort out the science. Once the science is sorted, we can go and check out that other point of interest. Oh, and uh, we're going to need to change our shuttle. We want the shuttle to start collecting people and not iron anymore. Yeah, we're going to get you off. A uh, mining ship actually can stay on ice, that's fine. But you are going to have to start collecting... What are these? Cryogenics? Yeah, and um, we'll take you off iron for the time being. Right, we've got a cryogenic center. What's the odds the building is freaking huge? Okay, cryogenic center. Oh! You are pleasantly not horrifying. That is uh, very nice. Though I'm still going to have to tear down huge chunks of this place. But preferably after I figured out what's going on. Hmm, let me think. Right, we disabled the probe launcher. We disabled one of our food places. And that should give us enough population to run the cryogenic center. Uh, right now, where's our ship? I think our ship's coming back with a bunch of people, 25 crew. I think they're frozen, so we're going to have to defrost them when they get back. And Sciency has actually managed to science the place. Uh, can we actually stick around some more at that place? Oh, damn it. We can't dismantle it for resources now. My bad. Question is, do we have the capacity to defrost all these people when we get them here? Right, okay, you've received the data from the black box. Acknowledged. Now, where's the people? Uh, there we go, cryogenics people. Oh, what the hell is this? Event available. Sector 1 has almost reached its maximum structural load, with more infrastructure surely needed soon, and new sector will need to be unlocked. Original sectors were programmed to automatically unlock after completion of the mission. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Oh, I'm not opening a new sector unless I have to, so... no? Does that make people unhappy? Um, I'm not sure I care. Ah, we have collected 25 cryogenic spots. You. Uh, can you select the, select the destination of freshly awakened crew members? Sector 1, workers, sector population limit. Uh, 250? If we could find more people, I'd open another sector, but right now, we can just move things around and we'll be fine. To get to people to the cryo facility, you first need a storage area. Oh, science ship has arrived. Uh, what have you found over here, buddy? Ah. Forced entry, leave the facility. Let's see. Force entry to the control center. Right, dismantle a part of the facility. In order to retrieve any resources to contain within, leave the facility. Oof. Which is better? We're just going to force entry. Why not? Let's hope that's not anything that can horrifically backfire on us. While we're waiting, we are currently waking people up. They can wake up one person every 0.3 of a cycle. How are we looking? 206. We're going to need to build an extra house in a bit, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine by me. Well, we defrost people in mine. Let's see what the asteroid belt holds for us. Why do I feel like this is going to result a in a backfire? Ship team has completed a task. Hmm. So, oopsie. Right. Let the dead rest in peace. Honor the dead. Oh God. Oh no. I, I'm not sure I want to do that. I'm not sure there's a point to either of these or which one's good or bad. So I'm just going to honor the dead because. It seems like the decent thing to do. If that has any negative side effects, then we'll just know not to do that next time round. Oh, well, great. So we know not to do that again. 
A dispute arose between members of the Einstein crew over the decision to extract the bodies and publish the manifest. There was a violent altercation, resulting in the loss of personnel and the destruction of the control room. Only Liam Wayland remains alive. Wait, wasn't he the guy who was related to the people they f Oh god. Well, that's, uh... Wonderful. Uh... <laughs> what? What the hell? Well, yeah, eject Liam Wayland or repatriate him. I mean... Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you cost me four people. I'm... I'm... Like, either you're, you're, you're rations or you're in space. Either way, we're not bringing you back. Ah, okay, what... Well, what do we need to talk about now? Right, event available. Okay, news of the Einstein's loss has spread throughout the station. Stability penalty minus one permanent. Oh my god. Right. I think I need to find a wiki on what events to not to accept and to not accept, because that is just terrifyingly bad. We now have a permanent minus one. Forever. Like, yeah, I think that kind of ends the run, to be honest. So, doing some checking online, I can see that this is bad. Minus one is, is definitely not good. Considering how much is left in the game, that's actually really, really bad. So, I think I'm probably going to restart. I was going to restart anyway, to be honest. I wanted to replace all these buildings. These buildings just... Ugh, oh, the mess is incredible. I can't stand it. It's driving me nuts. But I do see the mechanics they're aiming for here. For example, the alloys, we get them from the asteroid field. So I think the game loop here is we go out and we find asteroids that have iron and we turn that into alloys. We find asteroids that have... One second... We'll have to go to the science lab here to check. Uh, we find asteroids that have carbon and we turn that into the polymer that we use to make ships and some of the other high-tech stuff. And then we find silicon that we turn into electronics, which is the really high-end stuff. And that's what we used to expand. While simultaneously, we need to be pulling in enough iron to convert to alloy to repair the hull. The hull is currently requiring, I think it's about 3? I want to say... Yeah, no, 2.3. This requires 2.3 alloy per alloy per cycle. And we got to keep pulling that in. And every time we expand, there's six sectors. And each time we expand, that maintenance cost is going to go up. So you need to expand, keep your production up, but also have enough uh, resources coming in, so we're going to need multiple ships going out mining, multiple everything. And I kind of like the idea of that. I know, what I'm going to do is just re restart from the beginning, but jump back up to this point. I'll just skip forward to this point unless someone has any concerns. And then from there, we can see how this game plays out. We're going to have to figure out some way of squeezing in all the foundries into this one area. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. <laughs>